Welcome. Today we're going to be discussing the technique triggered salute and some of the problems that may arise from the execution of it. First thing we're going to talk about is the ideal face attack, which is a right hand direct push. Now keep in mind for this technique, we're working on a closed environment concept, which means that we can't step back, we're going to be stepping forward. So since we're talking about stepping, let's talk about what's happening with the low zone. As he steps in, we're going to be stepping forward. Now there's a rule that says we do not want to step past the heel of the opponent's first leg because you'd be straddling the paddle. This means that he can kick you effectively. So how we're going to cancel that, we're going to now talk about the upper zone. We're going to pin the hand, step forward with the heel pump. This heel pump is going to cancel his height as well as his depth, which will make this kick ineffective. Now something to keep in mind considering the heel pump, we do not want to make a cock and separate motion and come straight in. We want to actually strike from a point of origin, which would be economy of motion, using a zone of obscurity. Good. Once we're here, the next part we have to discuss is the crane. Uh, problems that arise from the crane, people use the frictional pull forward towards themselves, which causes their head to come down towards yours, which causes a headbutt, which obviously we don't want. The next problem would be pulling in towards the side to set up for your elbow, but this changes the line of attack for the target, which would be the solar plexus or the sternum. So in order to prevent that, we want to make sure we go straight down, keeping an anchored elbow, using gravitational marriage. Notice this also causes a whiplash effect to your opponent, which is what you want to do, and it keeps your target where you need it. From here, we deliver an inward elbow strike. Make sure that this is a major. Remember, trigger salute focuses on majors. Good. From here, we're going to turn around and show you what's happening on the other side from the next move. We step forward, drop, elbow. We're going to cock the hand, deliver an outward elbow strike between the ribs. Once we're here, the next move would be the outward back knuckle strike. Now keep in mind one of the problems that usually arises is you don't bend the wrist and you end up hitting with the top of the hand as opposed to the knuckles. So from here you want to start turning your knuckles so that you actually get the knuckles to make contact with the kidney. Um, this is usually done in a hooking matter, so once you hit, you want to make sure you hook. Now you don't want to glance. Remember, we want angle of incidence, these are all majors. So this needs to stick and then pull. Moving on to the last part of the technique. Once we get to the end, this is a vertical back knuckle thrust. This is hitting with the back of the knuckles or the front top of the knuckles, not the front part of the knuckles. And this hits to the filtrum, which is the mustache part right under the nose. So what we're gonna do now is just a quick walkthrough. Remember, point of origin with the heel pump, cancel the height and the depth. Elbow anchored, drop straight down, causing the whip flash. All majors, keep the center line open so you can get your angle of incidence with the inward elbow. Outward elbow strike between the ribs. Remember, back knuckle, turn the wrist so you can hit with the knuckles as you hook. And then vertical back knuckle thrust through the filtrum, cover out. One more time, a little bit faster. I hope this has helped you. Thank you very much.